Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading uh, for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. If you click in the uh, description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Um, that will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there. You know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you that you catch. My Jack Chi. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. There you go. Lovely. So just at least getting that of wisdom. All right, so just let me take these in and I'll be. So Aquarius, let's start the reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and as I always say, use this use this spread as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality. All right, so just touching on the past. All right, this this is a um a connection that kind of went full circle. It's like a cycle had completed and you kind of come back together again. So this is someone that you kind of uh there was an opportunity very much in the the path state of are we going to do this again? Are we going to try this again? You were definitely ready to embrace this opportunity to create something new or at least attempt to create something new uh, with this person. But still there was this, with the judgment card, there's still this for you. Has this person changed? Is it going to be different? What is it going to be like? You know, is it going to go the distance? Are we going to go the distance? There's still those ideas or was. Again, this is the past. Those ideas of you just trying to, um, yeah, that, that's coming up for you ultimately. That's coming up for you. And for them, you know, their focus was on, okay, I'm going to move forward with this. I'm going to move ahead with this. Uh, but at the same time, I'm waiting for something. And I feel like that waiting has to do with the current state of where they're at at the moment, which we'll get into in a minute. But there is still this, again, waiting. Loving the fact that they got the sun because they... Well, of course, naturally, if you're both coming together again, if there's a, a cycle, full, you've come full circle and you've both decided to try this again, then, you know, this is natural to, and this kind of represents the positive impact that they see in some way, shape or form that you have on them or on their life in some way. But again, there is that, that waiting. Yeah, it's representing you, which brings us to where we're at, at the moment. Okay, so there is an emotional fulfillment represented by the 10. So that could be due to maybe you know, kids that you might have, or maybe you've already have a, a, or an already a family that you kind of have started or doesn't have to be, but definitely emotional fulfillment. You both want to be here is that type of thing. You're fulfilled emotionally by this. However, we're going back to this. I'm waiting for something. And this something is an apology. They're waiting for an apology. I don't think you would know that though, because you're trying to, get them to speak or you're trying to maybe ask them questions uh just about you know what's going on for them or is there you know if they got something to say or something about around that something like that definitely have communication on your mind but for them it's like no i'm gonna keep keep quiet because you should know so they think you're a mind reader you should know why they're you know waiting it's like this person expects you to to read their mind 
you sure why or how. Yeah, why? I mean, you know, whatever happened in the past, which would cause you guys to maybe split up or go through some form of separation, and it's, you know, time has passed. This recycling has, of course, it's, it's, it's a fresh start for you guys to move ahead. Uh, but there is maybe certain things that need to be ironed out, especially coming from this person. They do feel like an apology has been owed or an explanation about something needs to be spoken about, something along those lines. And it's nothing major. I feel like once you've had the conversation, you know, then you can both kind of move past that. Your challenge is, is this ending. There's something around you feeling like, and that's in your challenge. How do I put that? It's like you're, so you're scared or there's fear around this ending makes you feel very uncomfortable. And the fact that that's in your challenge, it's saying to you that there's a, I would, I would kind of classify that as being an, having a, a, a needy or an attachment to this person. Whenever you're fearing something ending, that means you have some form of attachment to it, regardless of what it is. And there, and again, that's, yeah. This is interesting. Uh, Aquarius, the shadow, the king of pentacles, and the the ace of swords. So there is some form of idea that's come up for you in terms of what this could be. But it's like you don't want to face it. You don't want to acknowledge it. You're not ready to speak about it. That's where that shadow side is coming from. But you know on some level that that's going to bring it to a place where and or is going to be or you want it to be to, uh, bring it to a place where things are good again or things are you know the ten of pentacles which talks about you know harvest coming in you're at your pinnacle it's where it should be this relationship but again it's like without this acknowledgement and it's very much tied to it i'm not sure whether this person is going to be willing to move ahead because we have that chariot card there so what's starting to happen now is they're starting to think Okay, I'm not sure whether this could, am I in this? Should I go ahead with this? And there is this back and forth with them thinking like, because their challenge is, is am I able to turn this into something? Am I equipped to do that? Not sure why they're thinking that. Not sure why they would think that. Uh, Aquarius, why would your person think that? <laughs> I can hear some of you say, I know why. I know why. Um, yeah, there's confusion around whether they should move ahead with this now. That's what it's brilliant. Br even though you've not, even though they've not expressed to you what's actually on their mind, what's bothering them, what they need to hear from you. You know, they want, they're wanting. Um, to come to some form of decision on that. And that's kind of reflected in what they're wanting as well. The two. Yeah, it was like that queen. Sorry, not the queen, the knight. Um, so there's something around this person feeling like they're not emotionally mature enough. They don't have that emperor. They're not a leadership type of character. Yeah, there's a bit of self-judgment as well regarding that. But they don't have the tools in order for them to, to feel like they're equipped to handle Maybe certain aspects of your character, uh, Aquaria. But like I said, they're wanting to come to some form of decision. And they're kind of waiting for insight around that. They're waiting for insight around that. You, you're wanting to hold on to this, regardless of the challenges that you face. We're still trying to get this person to open up and talk. I'm going to clarify that communication card. Simply because I'm hoping that, because for some of you, a lot of you, there is insight around what's going on for this person. And with that comes the idea of giving them what they need in order for them to be able to say, okay, I'm, you know, content with the outcome of this and I'm, I'm ready to kind of move ahead with this and put that, put that to rest now. There's something that's coming up for this person that needs to be put to rest. And for a lot of you, you know what that is. You're just not ready to deal with that. You're not ready to maybe face certain things that you've done. Sorry, that was that. 
Uh huh. Okay. All right. Okay. So I pulled on the communication card. We've got death card. We've got the ace card, and we've got the high priestess, which talks about. And these are like you know, these are the two major arcana. So it talks about this com- communication wanting there to be some form of transformation. You know, an expression of love as well. Um, and we've got the highest priestess, which talks about insight. You know, having um, insight. Yeah, so that's a good sign. So on some level, you do want to have that communication where you're ready to face that shadow side. And it's going to be good as well. It will be good. Um, let's see where you move to. Let's see where this moves to and continue this in part two of the reading. Who knows um, whether you actually take the plunge, whether this person you know, decides on whether they're going to move ahead with this or not, um, and where this kind of leads to. It should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that. And I shall see you guys in a bit.